Left bundle branch block can result in several ECG findings, including QRS prolongation, broad R waves in left sided leads, and QS or RS waves in right sided leads. When examining the ECG, keep in mind that left bundle branch block can both mimic, conceal, and be caused by myocardial ischemia or infarction. The fundamental electrocardiographic finding of bundle branch block is a wide QRS complex. In adults, Complete bundle branch block is present when the QRS complex is 120 milliseconds or greater in duration. On an ECG with a standard paper speed of 25 mm per second, this translates to a QRS complex that is three small squares or wider. The morphology of QRS complexes can also provide important clues. The QRS complexes in left-sided leads have a large positive deflection, which can be monophasic or have a notch. However, if Q waves are present in leads 1, V5, and V6, then consider the possibility of myocardial ischemia or infarction. The QRS complexes in right-sided leads consist of a deep and wide negative deflection. Another important finding is that of a prolonged peak R time in leads V5 and V6. That is, the peak R time in leads V5 and V6 is greater than 60 milliseconds, but normal leads V1 to V3, in which it may not be discernible due to the lack of R waves. Also note that the ST segment and the accompanying T waves can be deflected in the opposite direction of the QRS complex. This is referred to as discordance. Essentially, when the QRS complex is positive, then the T wave is inverted, and vice versa. Finally, with left bundle branch block, the axis is usually deviated leftward. However, it may be normal. To quickly recap, the main ECG findings that can occur with left bundle branch block include QRS prolongation, broad R waves in left sided leads, large QS or RS waves in right sided leads, and a prolonged peak R time in leads V5 and V6. And remember to always keep in mind that a left bundle branch block can mimic, conceal, or be caused by myocardial ischemia or infarction.